Okay, so I think this is, it, it could be a little bit longer, but I think it's an okay size for us to use for, as for a tension test. I'll just show you how to, how I just close it off. So you do knit one, and knit another one, and make sure it's, it's quite loose, and then you take the first one over the next one. And you keep going all the way down. Oh, something happened there. Oh. Yeah. So you knit the other one and then you take the first one over. So you, all the time you just have one. Keep keep going back to having one. You can see it's it's closing off there. And so and you can just oh wait a sec. I just I actually took an extra stitch on before. Oh well. I like my, my things to look handmade so I never really worry about there being a mistake sometimes because it actually doesn't really matter often and it's a wonderful feeling to make yeah it just is a very special thing to make handmade clothes it's very special it's not to make you feel special but it just is a wonderful feeling And you have the last one here, and then you break off the wall, and you just pull it through, like this. And then you have your tension test. It's actually a bad idea to have this on one of those. It would have been better to not have that. But anyway, so what you do is... Uh, You have your measuring tape, if you can find it. So, you have your piece here, and you have your measuring tape. And then, you see, and you can actually use a it's best not to measure from the ends, so go in a bit. And this is a stitch. This is a stitch, this one here. These are stitches. So go into, like go into, or next to one like this. Just to make a mark. This is a little bit too thick actually. Uh, find a thin one. There you go. There. And we want to find 10 centimeters or whatever measuring inches, whatever you, you use. I use centimeters. And I go from the very first stitch, which is that, that one. It's from there. I'm measuring from here. So, and we go over to 10. And just make sure not to stretch it, just to really keep it. Uh, just as natural as it is. And we go all the way over to 10 and I would say 10 is actually in the middle of that one. 
it's it's in that one there. So it's a, a half a stitch. There you go. It went into the mi middle of the middle of a stitch. So now we we'll count from here. One. You have one. Count the stitches. Here's the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and half a stitch. Because it didn't end there. So there's half a stitch there, so there's 15 and a half stitches. So what you do is you say 10 centimeters, or it could be 10 inches or 5 inches, equals 15 and a half stitches. And going up, you can do the same thing. But that's not so important. It's more the width. That's what's important. We can just say five centimeters. How much is five centimeters approximately? If you start from the bottom of a stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about eleven. So that means that. 10 centimeters. This is the width and the height. Height. Oh, wait a sec. Height. I can't spell it. <laughs> That's all wrong. It's I E. Ah, whatever. Uh, 5 centimeters was 11 stitches. So ten cent ten centimeters would be twenty two. Is that right? Yeah. Twenty two. And you don't call that stitches, you call it rows. There we are. So this is just a quick I'll show you this better, but let's say you're gonna make a jumper and you have it you lay it, lay it down in front of you, a jumper you like, and let's say it is, it's 50 centimeters wide, let's, say it's, let's just say it's 50 centimeters wide, and you want to know how many stitches are you going to need to make your front piece and often I'll make my jumper with a round needle one of these one of these needles I love to use them because then you don't have to sew here you won't have to sew here you can just you could just go round and round but let's say you're just going to make one side at a time and you want to start down here and it's five, 50 centimeters wide then you just go I just have to make this extra little clip because this was wrong what I made here on the film before so I'll just, just uh, put this into the film because of course you don't say 50 this is wrong you want, you want your jumper to be 50 centimeters wide and if 10 centimeters is 15 stitches, uh, then you, of course you say it's 5 times 10. So if 10 centimeters is 15 stitches, you want 5 times that amount. So 4 more times. So you say 5 times, and that's what I got there anyway. You say 5 times 15 and a half. And that is equal that. Oh, wait a sec. That's not right anyway. I just won't use my head right now. I'm tired. <laughs> Five times 
15 and a half. Wait, what's right? Gosh, I'm brainy. So it is. It is right. I, I just said. I just said. So it is. 70, 77 point five stitches. Uh, because it's five times. It's not fifty times. That that that's. That was not right. So five times, the ten centimeters gives you fifty centimeters, and that's seventy seven point five stitches. So we'll continue the film. That's seventy seventy uh seventy seven point five I think seventy seven point five and you'll just say seventy eight then you make it a little bit always make it a little bit bigger if you want to sew it together you of course you'll need more stitches but this is just to give you a a feeling of it so now you know how many stitches that you're going to need to make your jumper from here because this is the width of the jumper and if you want to make it in this if you think this tension is nice for you this wool and this tension is is nice for the jumper if you think it's too loose you'll have to do the tension again tension test and make it with with is uh, with thinner needles because that will give you a tighter look if you want it more loose you have you have thicker needles so this is just this is the basic of how to uh, how to start to make something yourself and now you have the width so you know this is how many stitches and if you want to make it go in you'll be decreasing here somewhere along the line so uh, that was just to show you basically a uh, tension test and how to start uh, to make your own pattern So there we go. This was our little tension test and uh, yeah I'll do some more about knitting and things you can make and we'll have a look at my jumpers. See you my friend.